Hello everybody and welcome to my 54th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the ActiveX controls in your workbooks. An ActiveX control is essentially the same as a user form except it's going to integrate itself onto your worksheet rather than being a separate form that pops up. Uh, this has quite a few advantages, the main being that user forms when they're loaded up will lock down your entire instance of Excel. So unless you open up a new instance, you can't actually look at any other workbooks. ActiveX controls, on the other hand, because they're embedded into the worksheet, you can go to other sheets, you can go to other workbooks, and it doesn't cause any other problems. Um, the second advantage is just that they look a little bit better. It looks more like you've got an integrated spreadsheet rather than it being a separate little user form popping up. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure you've got this developer rib tab on the ribbon up here. If you haven't got it, then right click and go to customize the ribbon. And then just make sure you've got the developer thing ticked here. Now we then, before we can start adding ActiveX controls onto our worksheet, we need to go into design mode. What this does is it stops it from actually running any code and just lets us build it up and then when we come out of design mode we can then run it. The next thing you want to use is this insert symbol and this is where all our ActiveX controls are. So if you go on this and then go down to ActiveX controls and don't use the form controls, they're not that useful, just use the ActiveX ones. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a button and we drop that in and then we can shape it and resize it the same as if it was a text box and um, you can right click on it and go to properties and then you'll notice that you've got all the same properties that you have normally in your editor That's for the user forms so we can change our back color we can change our for color we can change our font and so on and so forth uh, if we want to change what the command button says, then go into caption and change the caption. So let's have this one saying uh, submit. And so then if we double click this, and it's going to come up into our code for the worksheet, and it's going to up here have command button one selected and here have click selected so when anything in this sub command button one underscore click it's going to run whenever we click that button so let's just put something simple in here say so message box hello world and then close down this then if you try and click on it in design mode it's just going to let you click it and select it we come out of design mode by unclicking up here and now when we click on this submit button it's going to say hello world and you can put as much code in here as you like or you can call another sub so if we put another sub down here so sub my separate code and then here have message box Hello world from another sub and then when we click on it in here come out of design mode click on it then it's not going to work because we haven't called our sub procedure and let's say call my separate code and now when we actually click on it it's going to call it say hello world from another sub. So that is the start of how you use ActiveX controls. In the coming tutorials I'll show you through the different types and how you use them. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, th thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.